everyone, my name is Kristen and I hope you're all having a wonderful Friday. Welcome to episode two of my Halloween series. If you are not aware, I am building a house for each of the different occults in The Sims 4. Last week I built a mansion for spellcasters, so if you are interested in seeing that, then definitely go check it out on my channel. It was posted last Friday, and this week we are focusing on mermaids. So this is actually going to be just a tiny house for a mermaid. And I am going to be completely honest, I built this uh, a few weeks ago. So <laughs> I built this before I even realized that I was going to be building each of the different occults. And once I decided to, you know, build this Halloween series with all the different occults and build houses for each of them, I decided to go ahead and keep this house I built for the mermaid. I thought it turned out so cute and um, I had a lot of fun building it. So with that being said, I can't exactly remember exactly how this is furnished. I think it's for just like a mermaid and maybe two mermaids if they share the same bed. I don't think there's more than one bedroom in this build, so I guess we'll find out together. But I do remember making this like super landscaped. Um, I tried to make it obviously tropical and I wanted it to look really overgrown and unmanicured and I think I achieved that. Um, there's something about Sulani I just absolutely love. I know uh, the Island Living expansion pack could have been done a little bit better as far as gameplay goes, but as far as the looks go for the world, it's absolutely beautiful. And so it's always a super fun time to build in Sulani. I absolutely love it. I don't build in Sulani nearly enough. Uh, when it first came out, I built in Sulani all the stinking time and probably a little bit too much and that is why I don't build there very often now. <laughs> I feel like whenever I build here, my houses end up looking very, very similar. I don't know what it is. I mean, I just feel like I need to make the houses match the houses in the neighborhood and so that leaves me very strict on the style of house that I can do. Uh, with that being said though, this house doesn't necessarily match any of the other houses in the neighborhood. It doesn't have that thatched roof. It has more of like the the tile roof and I just thought that looked a lot more mermaid-ish. I just did not feel like doing a hutched roof. I did not want it to look like a hut, which would make sense. I mean, it makes sense for a mermaid to live in a hut, but I just, I really liked the pink color to this tile roof. I thought it matched for the color scheme that I was trying to go for, which the color scheme is obviously pink and blue with some purples here and there and other colors here and there. I wanted to keep it I don't know, something about pink and blue just screams mermaid to me, and purples too. Um, and so with this fence, I decided to make a makeshift gate. Uh, is it actually a gate? Uh, no, it's not a gate at all. It's acting as a gate. <laughs> That's just a couple of like fence pieces that I put to a diagonal. So it looks like the gate opens and closes. I hope that makes sense. I hope that's what you guys are seeing as well. Uh, it, it looks like a gate to me, but yeah. So while I am finishing up the landscaping, I just want to put a little bit of a disclaimer out. I don't know if disclaimer is the right word. Um, but I, after this video, I am actually going to be going to get Invisalign done at the dentist. And so the next time you guys hear me, I may or may not sound a little bit different. <laughs> I really hope I don't develop a lisp or anything. I mean, there's nothing wrong with lisps. Don't get me wrong. I've just never had one my whole life. And so I really hope it doesn't change the way I talk all too much. I heard that it might change the way I talk for a little bit when I first get it, but once I get used to it, I I should be fine. But I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there just in case I come back and I sound a little bit different. But um, I am very, very excited to get the Invisalign. I am quite nervous at the same time though. 
I am a frequent snacker <laughs> and I drink drinks frequently as well and so I'm a little bit nervous on not being able to do that and so I guess we'll just see how it goes. Um, I guess it's worth it to have better teeth. So I am, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. But anyways, we are back inside of the mermaid's house now. Um, back inside, I don't know if that's the correct word. We are now inside. <laughs> uh, by the way, this is not a pack restricted build at all. I pretty much went crazy with the packs in this build. I just did not want to restrict myself. I, I think I said when I first started the Halloween series that I was going to keep it with the actual like just what occult what pack the occults came with I was going to keep it with that pack in the base game only well I guess I broke my rule <laughs> and so that is how it's going to be for the mermaid I am just not going to worry about like the pack restriction or anything like that since I built this you know a few weeks ago I can't really go back and change it now and it turned out super duper cute so I'll just go ahead and break my rule for this one, but going forward, I don't have any of the other occults pre-built, and so I should be following my rule from now on. So each of the occult builds from now on, they will be using just the pack that the occult came with plus base game. I just like to keep it restricted like that so anyone that has that occult can download it and they don't have to worry about anything being missing or replaced or anything like that. So yeah, uh, with that being said, there is a lot of different packs being used in this build. <laughs> but it definitely turned out super cute. I absolutely love this house. If I was to play a mermaid, I think I would download this house off of my own gallery and play in it because it, it's just super cute. I love those vines on like that. I used it as a room divider. I'm not sure exactly what it was supposed to be, uh, but it definitely gives room divider vibes to me. And so I used that kind of behind the TV because I didn't like how the TV was off in the corner. I needed to put it more in front of the couch that was there. And so I had the idea of just putting that like room divider sort of thing there. And there is a little like area behind the room divider right next to that door in the back right there that leads to the back balcony and there is nothing there but there will be something there it's I am now remembering this is for just a single mermaid and her cat so there is technically two sims living here just one of the sims is a cat I am not sure how much that cat likes being on the water like this <laughs> I'm sure they enjoy being out on the back porch and then going back inside. I don't think they jump in the water like the dogs would like to, but this particular mermaid just loves cats. And so she decided to go to the local shelter and go ahead and adopt a little kitty that was in need of a home. And now this particular cat is living the absolute dream, <laughs> living on the beach in Sulani. I mean, I would totally love that. Uh, luckily in The Sims, there is no such thing as hurricanes, and so they don't have to worry about that too much, but in real life, that is very much a thing. Um, hurricanes are definitely, you know, I, I don't want to say that I'm necessarily scared of hurricanes as long as you plan for them. I have been born and raised in Florida my whole life. Uh, I live in Tampa, Florida, actually, and so we are very familiar with hurricanes. And so you really just have to be prepared. And since we are on the subject of hurricanes, we are actually having a hurricane supposed to hit Tampa straight on sometime this week. I am filming this on October 7th and the hurricane should be getting here pretty much Wednesday night into Thursday morning is what the forecast is saying as of right now. And so, Keep us in your prayers, guys. This is not going to be a fun hurricane. It has been over 100 years 
since a hurricane has hit Tampa straight on. And this is definitely a worst case scenario for the Tampa region. And so a lot of people are evacuating. I'm far enough off the coast to where I don't have to evacuate, luckily. Uh, but keep everyone in your prayers, especially those that are on the coast. And they just, you know, our coast here in Tampa and St. Pete, was just devastated from Hurricane Helene and there's so many people that are still recovering from that hurricane and so this is not a fun time for Floridians right now. So with that being said I will do my best to continue posting into next week but obviously if I have no power then I am not going to be able to do any voiceovers or builds or anything so if I end up ghosting you guys again next week then keep that in mind I it's most likely because I have no power <laughs> so yeah um on another note we are pretty far into this build now so I just got done building the interior of the bedroom and I thought it turned out super cute I absolutely love the way that the bedroom turned out. I love all the little decorations and I ended up putting a whole bunch of little knickknack stuff on the dresser. I wanted to make it look like a mermaid lived here and they had a lot of collectibles everywhere and all of that good stuff. And to be totally honest, I love every single room in this little house. I just love the pinks and the blues everywhere. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I also love that I'm putting vines on the windows. I think that fits so much. I figured, you know, mermaids, they don't have a ton of money, right? They probably don't even have a job. And so I could just picture this mermaid going out and collecting a whole bunch of vines from her yard and other places in Sulani. And she made these like makeshift curtains with those vines. I just absolutely love that idea. And this bathroom, that mirror, I think that mirror came with high school years, I believe. I think that is like absolutely perfect for a mermaid's house. It just gives me ocean vibes, uh, especially in this color. It just looks like a bubble, you know, sort of thing. I, I don't know. I might be the only one that gets that feeling from it, but it, it totally looks like it. And I'm surrounding this bathtub with candles. This whole bathroom I'm putting candles in. And I think I end up putting candles throughout the whole build. And that just seems like a really mermaid thing. She would have like, she probably makes her own candles to be totally honest. A lot of the stuff in her house, she probably made herself. And I also ended up putting a bathtub in here instead of a shower or bathtub shower combo because if you've ever played with mermaids before, then you know that they need, you know, if it it's, might be raining outside, you know, your mermaid might not want to go and swim in the ocean. And so in order to get their hydration up, they can go into the bathtub instead. From my personal experience of playing with mermaids, it's just so much more helpful to have a tub in there than it is to have a shower. I mean, it really does the same thing, but to be honest, it is so much cuter seeing your mermaid in the bathtub with their little tail sticking out than in the shower. The shower really doesn't make any sense to me if we're going to be like technical about this because if they touch water and they have that's when they develop their tail right um how can they stand up in the shower uh you know what i mean it it raises a red flag to me it doesn't seem realistic and so i don't like that and i always just have bathtubs in my mermaid's houses to be honest it it's more realistic you know but yeah, as far as a personality goes for this particular mermaid, I don't think I really thought of one. I didn't think of any traits that they would have. Um, I don't remember if I ended up putting an easel in here or not. I don't think I did. I usually put easels in my mermaid's builds. I don't really know why I figured that could be an easy way for them to get good money. Uh, definitely painting in the sims and selling the paintings that's like the best way to get a lot of money to be honest to make your sim a millionaire uh it might not be the best way but it's like the easiest way at least for me anyways as to what i could find it it was definitely the easiest and we are now currently just placing different 
miscellaneous items around the house to decorate like the blank spaces. I really wanted to make sure this house was super decorated. Uh, something about mermaids just screams clutter to me and they probably, you know, like Ariel, they're, they're quick to pick up things like a fork and just, you know, brush their hair with it, you know? And so uh, when I build mermaid houses, I try my best to make it as cluttered as possible. And so I'm just now placing different miscellaneous things. I am about 98% positive your sim will be able to use one of those counters there. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong. I don't think I have play tested this yet. Before I post it on the gallery, I will try to remember to play test it. If not, then you'll probably just have to delete one of the items that I put on the counter. And these little like light up wall signs, are they not like the cutest thing? Especially that penguin. I think that was so stinking cute. I don't really know why I ended up moving it. Um, and then I ended up putting like that sun with the waves there instead. I don't think the penguin would really make a lot of sense here in this build since this is like a... It's in Sulani. There are no penguins here in Sulani. So I guess it makes more sense to replace that with like the ocean and the sunset and stuff. So... I guess I'm glad, but that penguin was super stinking cute. I need to use that in a build. I just, uh, I just haven't yet, so I need to make a point to use that. And now I am pulling out these pillows that came with base game. Uh, not really came with base game. It was a part of that, uh, like where you, you know, the event where you logged in every day and you got certain things, that's where the pillows came from. And so if you did not do that event, the pillows may be missing, but that's really not a big deal. Everything else will be there. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we are now back on the outside of this build. So I wanted to make sure each of the walls had something and you know, a mermaid probably a life ring right there, but you know, um, I needed something and I thought it fit. <laughs> so I ended up putting that there. You never know, she might end up falling in love with a man that, you know, is not a mermaid. He has two legs and he doesn't, you know, develop a tail when he hits the water. And so he might drown. And so he might need something to save him. And she could, you know, if she likes him and she wants to save him, she can toss him that life ring, you know? But you know, if she doesn't like him, then she got lucky, I guess. <laughs> Uh, that's that's kind of messed up guys. I mean, I said it, but you guys know you're thinking it and now we are just Putting some different decorations out here on this balcony. I really did not know What the heck I wanted to do out here. I knew I wanted to put like a little seating area and I absolutely love these little love seats. I think they came from high school years. They are so adorable and they come with a lot of different cute swatches as well. And I came across this one with the pink and the purples and it screamed mermaid to me. And so I put those down and then I got the little like one seat couch. I don't know if you'd call it couches, chairs. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. So I got these chairs that came also with the high school years expansion pack, I think. And they match that love seat very well. And so I ended up pulling those out as well. And I put like a couple of pinks and a couple of blues out there, just trying to mingle all of the colors together and make it make sense. And then I put a couple of plants down and some candles and that is pretty much that. I don't do anything else. There's a little section over there of sand that I really wanted to put something there, but I just did not know what exactly I wanted to put there. So I ended up giving up on it. I kind of thought that would give you guys the perfect opportunity to decorate that spot into whatever you wanted it to be. All right, guys, we are nearing the end now, so I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then please be sure to leave a like. It really helps the algorithm. Share this video with other simmers. And of course, subscribe if you have not already. So with all of that being said, I hope you all have an amazing weekend, and I will see you all in the next video very soon. Bye, guys.